Oh boy. Have we got a treat? I was on the internet and I saw a guy had a fork with red stanchions and I got so excited. I was like, what is that? Where did he get it? How do I? I hate this channel. No! No! So I did a little research. I think I actually messaged the guy. I was like, who made that fork? And he's like, oh, it's a company called Bolani. And so I went and looked on uh, Amazon and here it is. Oh my God, red stanchions. It's pretty interesting. Uh, so I, I ordered this fork off Amazon and they said it's gonna take like two to three months to ship. I was like, that's fine, whatever. I think it was like 130 bucks, which is pretty incredible, shipped. Uh, and then I get a notification that says, sorry, can't deliver. So I reordered it, waited another two to three months and then boom, showed up on the doorstep. So I'm pretty excited. We are gonna tear this thing apart, see what's going on inside. Um, there's some really interesting stuff just already on the outside. Original designed by Cheetahs. So here's a compression lockout lever off of a Manitou fork. But then also, rebound. Okay, this is gonna be fun. I would like to preface this video by saying, uh, I understand there is a market for $130 suspension forks. Uh, that being said, please know what you are buying. Um, you cannot expect super high quality, super good durability, and amazing performance for $130. It's just not really possible. But if you're just looking for a replacement fork and you're doing some light trail riding, maybe this is the fork for you. I can't say. Um, we might do another video in the future where I test ride it, but I wouldn't put a lot of money on that one. Take off the air cap just for fun. We'll see what kind of pressure we got in here from the factory. This is gonna be negative pressure. Eight PSI. It's fine. We're not there yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, whatever. Eh? Okay, that's at 100 PSI. Just for fun, let's see what 100 PSI looks like on the floor. Make sure and open our ABS, bro. So it's got, it's a little sticky, but Pretty quick top out because like I said, there's no rebound adjustment on this thing. Most dual air fill forks, you want to equalize. So if you got 100 in positive, you want to put 100 in the negative. So we'll just get close. Oh yeah, it's a little plusher. And it doesn't have that top out, that's nice. That's to be expected. Okay. And then we'll really know if it's negative. If I let the air out of the positives, the negative chamber will suck this thing up. So, defuse the bomb. Yep, cool. Two millimeter. Oh, Ooh. ball bearings, yes. Oh, <laughs> that's also steel. So, this magnet loses. <laughs> it's a buff. 26, yep. All right. Oh yeah, that was easy. No grease, who needs it? Grease costs money. I don't think this is gonna have any oil in it, but just to be safe. Yep, no oil. So, we have plastic bushings. Similar to Suntour. Um, just a tiny bit of grease in here. No oil. Works for basic forks. Whatever's going on with the air spring, I think it's all contained in the upper... Oh my god. <laughs> Here, let me get out my tools to unthread this. Okay, so maybe that's leaning towards not the safest fork to ride. If I can undo this by hand, I have not buggered with this thing out of the box. Um, if I can undo the air spring by hand and just pull it out, at the very least, for your own safety, have somebody tear this thing apart. Um, 
because that's that's not safe. All right. Oh, but <laughs> well, I didn't take fly. anything. <laughs> so this is an interesting way to build forks, though, because if you make everything cartridges, you don't have to do a lot of fancy machining on the legs. You don't have to worry about the the legs, you know, holding air or oil. Yeah, and this is just a basic uh, cartridge damper. Um, this is also why it doesn't really have a rebound adjust because there's nothing going on down here except how to attach it. And then this is, since this is going to be at the top of the damper, um, this is only going to be a lockout. So this is probably, oh, interesting. There's no, oh, okay. <laughs> it only engages part of the way, but if you close this off, then it locks and you open it, pushes down. There is some resistance. It's not like, yeah. So up here, there's nothing. And then once you get into the oil and it locks out, this should be threaded together. Come on, buddy. Or is it not threaded together? <laughs> this is the part where Jose plays the metal. Uh, kinda. It was moving. I'm not too worried about destroying this thing because I'm not too worried about being able to ride it. It's warm. What do we got? Should just slide up. Boom. There it is. Real basic. The damper is not something you can really take apart. Uh, I know you can take this adjuster off because this is similar to a lot of um, other lower end forks out there. Um, there are certain names that I'm not mentioning just because you don't need to throw people under the bus. But um, if you have a low end fork, it's going to have a cartridge style damper like this. Um, they, they actually work just fine. Um, I would be more inclined to ride this damper than I would be to ride that air spring. Um, just because they've done this so many times and, and again, not real heavy duty riding, not extreme riding, no jumping, no crazy downhill. Um, but you know, this does do the job. The, the, the downside to these is when they fail, that's it. You can't rebuild them. You can see they're crimped together down here. It's crimped over here. You can't really fix these things. You can replace them, but that is assuming that you can find a replacement. So, um, I mean, maybe you could call Bolani and get a new one, but I have my doubts. Same thing with this, you know, this works. The downside with these bushing style uh, forks is as the bushings wear, they just get stickier and stickier. Generally speaking, this bushing style is found on forks that have steel upper legs and those as this fills with water it'll tend to rust and these corrode and they just they degrade it's like they fall off a cliff they just get full of water and they just they just don't work anymore i wish more companies would do red upper legs because that's why i bought it um, and i would buy red upper leg forks all day long because they're dope but um red does not make the fork uh it, you know nothing about these legs is going to make this thing perform very well so um, at the end of the day, I would say caveat emptor, buyer beware. Um, it's a super neat thing as far as looks. It's got shiny decals um, and it kind of checks all the boxes that you think you need when you buy a fork, you know. It's got colors, it says 32, maybe you think it's quality. Um, but for 130 bucks, just remember, you get what you pay for. Uh, thanks for watching, hope you enjoy. Uh, please click like. Subscribe, tell your friends to subscribe, and leave me a question down below. Um, I, I love doing stuff like this, so if you have any questions, I will answer your questions, and if you have any requests, I will do my best to get to them. Thanks for watching.